That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most. Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, but she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the being silently peering down at her. The dark wood falls before me With broken bow and blackened leaf Today's moveset will be for Quill and Reader from the VR game Moth. Now before we get into the moveset, I will say that there are going to be minor spoilers in this video, like most videos. But this game is so special to me that I want you to experience it for yourself before watching this video. So if you haven't played this game and you have a VR console, I highly suggest you go play it. Then come back here. This game is a true masterpiece and everyone should have the experience of playing it. And hey! The ending foreshadows a second game, which will probably get made if this game gets enough recognition. So again, please play it if you haven't already. Now, let's get into the moveset. The central gameplay theme in Moss is the bond and cooperation between Quill and the mysterious reader. In the game, you play as both Quill and the reader simultaneously. You control Quill using the controller like a normal game character but the game's perspective is through the eyes of the reader. The reader can alter the landscape by grabbing and moving certain objects so that Quill can pass. I created a gimmick for their moveset to reflect this core gameplay element of their game. How it would work is similar to Rosalina and Luma. Quill and one of the reader's hands will both be controlled at the same time. If you move Quill left, the reader will move left as well but you can do certain things to desync them. If Quill is using a move that stops her from moving, like charging a smash attack for example, it will let you control the reader independently. This will be useful for stuff later on in the moveset. The reader itself doesn't do anything outside of the moves that use it, so it's basically not even there unless you use one of those moves. Getting into the moveset, Quill will be a super light character, as light, if not lighter, than Pichu, and about the same size. She is, after all, a normal, to scale mouse. She has two jumps and can crawl. Her stage entrance will have two branches grow from the ground and form a portal, where Quill will walk through. Then the reader flies in from off screen. For her alts, the first will be her most recognizable design, with the grass sword, and the reader will be the normal blue. The second alt will have her in her starting gear, with a green scarf and backpack. The reader will also be green. The third alt will have her wear the golden set, with a gold scarf and backpack. The reader will also be gold. The next alt will be the first to change her fur color. It'll change it to gray to reference her uncle Argus. She will also be using her starter gear. The reader will be silver. The next alt will have gray fur again with the grass blade set with a green scarf and backpack. This alt will have the reader be pink, a reference to Quill's starling companion, Adurin. 
The next alt will be the last gray fur alt, with the golden set, scarf, and backpack. The reader will be brown. The next alt will give Quill pink fur, also a reference to Adurin. She will be using the leaf set. The reader will be multicolored to reference the collectible dust in the game. The final alt will also have her in the grass set, but with red fur. The reader will also be red. This alt is a reference to the evil Sarfa. For taunts, her first will have her pump her fist. Her second taunt will have her do finger guns. Well, I can just imagine the disrespect with this taunt. Her third taunt will have a second reader orb appear and high-five her. Imagine this is the player's other hand that's not the one doing the fighting. And she actually has one more secret taunt you can do. If you press the taunt button while hanging onto a ledge, she will point her finger up then shake her head. This taunt will be very familiar to anyone who has played Moss. To start the moves, we first have her A attacks. Her 3-hit jab will have her use the 3-hit combo from the game, and the rapid jab will have her use the other combo. Her dash attack will have her leap forward, another move straight from the game. Her down tilt will have her kick the ground, and her up tilt will have her swing her sword up. For her aerials, her neutral air will have her spin in a circle while holding out her sword. Her forward air will have her stab her sword straight forward. Her back air will have her kick a leg behind her. Her down air will have her stab the sword straight down. If this sweet spots, it will spike. Her up air will just have her stab her sword up. For her grab, pressing the grab button will relocate the reader to directly in front of you. So even if you aren't trying to grab someone, this move is good for bringing the reader back to you quickly. If the reader appears on top of an opponent, it will grab them. Quill's pummel will have her stab the grabbed opponent. The forward throw will have the reader pick up the opponent and throw them forward. The back throw will have the reader wind up before throwing the opponent backwards. The down throw will have the reader slam the opponent into the ground, burying them. And the up throw will have the reader throw the opponent into the ground where they will bounce up. For her smash attacks, each one has two different versions one normal one, and one where you can enhance the power by using the reader. While charging a smash attack, you can either let it go to do a normal smash, or you can bring the reader over and touch Quill, which has the reader help in the smash attack. Quill automatically does the smash attack when you touch her with the reader, regardless of the charge, so make sure you only do it when you get the exact charge you want. Her forward smash will just have her stab her sword forward, but if you use the reader, they will be launched forward a short distance. Her up smash will be the same, just stabbing and launching up. Her down smash will have her swing her sword on either side of her. If you use the reader, it will circle around you once, going slightly farther than the sword, increasing the hitbox. And now for her B attacks. Her neutral special will have Quill lift her sword up if you hold the button down. This move does nothing unless you get the help from the reader. If you bring the reader to the tip of the sword while she's holding it up, it will charge the sword. And when you let go of the B button, she will shoot out a ball of energy straight forward, exploding on impact. This move is super easy to avoid, so in return, if you do hit the attack, it deals massive damage. Think full charge Byleth neutral special damage. Her forward special will have the reader launch forward. Think of this move as the person playing VR swiping their hand across the battlefield. This move travels pretty far, and it moves about as fast as Banjo's Wonderwing. The move doesn't do that much damage, but it deals huge knockback, making this move not that good to use early game, but devastating late game. This move takes strategy to get the reader exactly where you want it to be to use the move. Her next move might help out with that though. For her down special, it will have Quill stop in place while you hold the button. 
letting you move the reader independently of Quill while she's stuck in place wherever you use the move, making it good to position the reader wherever you want. This move, however, doesn't just freeze Quill in place. I mean, come on, that's just stupid. This move is also a healing move. While holding the button, if you move the reader to Quill and lift her up in the air, it will heal 2-3% of damage, with RNG. This move takes about 2 seconds to work, and has a 15 second cooldown. You can tell if the cooldown is done if Quill's backpack is red when you hold the button. If her backpack is green, that means the cooldown is still happening. Mastering this move along with the grab reset is essential to mastering fighting as both Quill and the reader. Use your grab to reset the reader in front of you, and use your down B to move the reader independently. This is the key to success when playing as Quill. For her up special, she'll spawn a platform under her feet. She can jump off this platform, giving her an extra two jumps, and she can still use any of her moves after. Besides her up special again, of course. Or, the reader can grab the platform and launch her up, making this move more like a normal recovery. This launches her higher than if she were to just jump off, but it does put her into freefall. This platform disappears after 3 seconds however, and if the platform disappears while Quill is standing on it, she will be put into freefall. Opponents are also able to interact with the platform. And now, it's time for her final smash. made a terrible mistake. What is this place? What's that smell? Durin? I'm so sorry, Quill. I really am. The final smash will call upon Quill's greatest enemy, Sarfog. The final smash will start with a hole appearing in front of Quill, and any players above the hole will fall into it. They are then taken into a cinematic final smash, where they end up in Sarfog's lair. Sarfog then slithers up to the opponent, then attacks them. That does it for the moveset, but we still have to go over the victory animations. Her first will have her high-five the reader, then do a little dance. Her second will have her take the glass out of her backpack and lift it into the air. And her final victory animation will have her wake up from a nap. And that's about everything for Quill. I hope you all enjoyed this moveset. Uh, and I'm just going to take this opportunity again to encourage you to go play Moss. Please, it's such a good game. It's my favorite game of all time. If you are able to play this game, you should play this game. Make sure to comment any suggestions for future movesets you'd want, you'd want to see. Again, like I've said in my last few videos, it doesn't have to be a video game character. The character doesn't even have to be in a video game. As long as I know the character, and there is enough to make a moveset off of, I can make the character. Now of course I will prioritize my own ideas, but I will make sure to try to get to your ideas eventually. So again, I hope you all enjoyed, Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.